So for those of you that have been following this channel for some time, you probably have a pretty good idea of all the various different tools that I like to use when I'm writing code. I like to use Windows as my preferred development platform. I like to use Visual Studio as my preferred development environment, whether that be for C++ or C Sharp. And there's one other tool that I like to use and something that I've been using for years. Ever since I started working at EA and I had to start writing some serious C++ code, I was introduced to this tool and I've been using it ever since. In fact, I would say that I probably wouldn't even want to write C++ code without having this tool installed. And what it is, is an extension for Visual Studio called Visual Assist. Visual Assist is a plugin that makes your life a whole lot easier and more efficient when you're working with C++ code, C Sharp code, really anything inside Visual Studio. It's something that I've been an absolutely huge fan of. It's something that I've talked about a lot when I used to live stream like four or five years ago. I absolutely love Visual Assist and I've even joked about them sponsoring my videos because of how much love I constantly pour out towards them. And they have. This is a video sponsored by Visual Assist, which is like absolutely fine by me because I have been endorsing Visual Assist for so long. They've reached out to me and they've asked me to make some videos for you guys talking about all the various benefits that Visual Assist can have for you and your projects. And so today we're going to be talking about my personal five favorite features of Visual Assist. There might even be like a little sixth one in there as well. For someone that has been using Visual Assist for over five years, I just want to say that even though this is a sponsored video, these are my five favorite features. These are not like, you know, some list that I was given. It's nothing like that. This, these are my favorite features that I have been constantly using for the last five years. So let's jump in and take a look. So the first feature that I want to show you guys is the open file dialog. Now this is a really simple feature. Honestly, I feel like something like this should be in Visual Studio. Just a really quick way to open any file in your solution just by just by quickly typing in the name of the file or searching for it. So Alt Shift O does that in Visual Assist. And you can see it immediately opens very quickly this open file and solution dialog. I can start typing in the name of any file, like for example, texture, and you can see it will come up here. I can quickly use the arrow keys to navigate to the one I want and just press enter and I've opened the file. That's it. I can get back to where I was before, edit a layer. It's really fast and it just works. Now to compare this to Visual Studio's way of doing things, we have this solution explorer here and I can just navigate here here, or I can search. There's, there also is a shortcut control and semicolon. If I press that and start typing in like texture, for example, it is going to actually search the contents of the files as well. You can see it's rubbish. You can change this to not search within file contents or within external items. A lot of people do that, but still trying to find exactly what I want, clicking on it. It's it's quite it's quite tedious compared to just Alt Shift O. You know, let's go to Frame Buffer. There it is. Really easy to do. No problem at all. I absolutely love this feature and I use it all the time. The actual search algorithm is also pretty good. You don't have to type in the exact name of what you're looking for. I can just type F buff, for example, and it will try and match everything that either has an F in it and the word buff. So altogether, just a really, really easy tool to use and super, super useful. Similar to this, we have something called Find symbol. Now to use find symbol, we can press Alt Shift S and you can see it opens this dialog here where we can start typing in the name of any symbol. Now this can be a macro, it can be a like a static variable, it can be a class or a struct, any symbol whatsoever. So for example, I have a bunch of logging macros which begin with like HZ core. If I type in HZ core, you can see all of these logging macros are now here and I can click on any one I want and I'm taken to the definition here where I can see what all of them are. This is really useful. And if you uncheck the show only symbols to find in current solutions, you can really search all the symbols that are coming in externally as well. So for example, the infamous like min and max definitions, there they are. You can see how quick that was as well. Here it is, min, it's defined inside min, win, def. And I can easily see by reading this code that if I define no min max, well, I won't get those definitions. This would have taken so long to find without Visual Assist. If I wanna find a specific class as well, it's super simple. I can just type in the name of the class, such as material instance. Now you can see there's a lot of stuff coming up here. I can actually limit this to symbols defined in the current solution and also only classes, structs, and namespaces. And you can see that it just immediately comes up here. If I open it, I can see my class. Maybe I wanna search for like texture, 
2D or OpenGL Texture 2D. These are all classes that are stored in one file with each other. So OpenGL Texture Cube, for example, I store in the same file. So I can't just type in Texture 2D to open the actual class inside the open file dialog. Searching for symbols like that is super useful because I can see exactly where everything is defined. And you can see this one, for example, is inside scene.h, but it's super simple to find with find symbol. And also since everything inside Hazel is inside this Hazel namespace, I can easily just search just for Hazel here. And if I just search for Hazel, it's gonna find everything that belongs to that namespace. I can look at every single class or struct that is inside Hazel in this nice little view here, which honestly is amazing. When you're in a large file like editorlayer.cpp, it's really useful to see all of the different methods or functions that you have inside this actual file. Now you could look at the header file Alt-O, by the way, a fantastic shortcut to quickly switch between header files and implementation files. But it's still a little bit messy to kind of sort through all of this code and try and find everything you're looking for. That's why we have Alt-M. Now, Alt-M will bring down this dropdown, which you can also just click here, and it will show you all of the different namespaces and functions and methods and all of that stuff inside this file. And the best part is you can actually just start typing whatever you want and it will obviously search for that. So I can type in attach and you can see it comes up here. This is great because if I'm navigating through a file and I'm lost and I wanna, for example, jump to the update function, I can just hit Alt M, type in update and hit enter. And you can see I'm exactly there and it's just so, so, so easy and quick. Now, since we're on the topic of navigation, there is also Alt G and Alt G is essentially go to definition. It's very similar to Visual Studio's F12. It's just that instead of immediately going to it and being also quite slow in a lot of cases, Alt-G actually tells you all of the possibilities here, all of the overloads, and then you can easily pick which one you want to jump to. This is super useful because a lot of the time I might not want to jump exactly to the definition. So if I hit F12 on, on update, for example, I'm taken straight over here into the definition. But if I hit Alt-G, I can choose whether or not I want the header file or the CPP file, super useful. And I found that it's a lot more reliable than Visual Studio's F12. It almost never makes a mistake and it's also generally a lot faster. Although to be fair, Visual Studio's F12 has actually come a long way since like Visual Studio 2015 where it was just unbearably slow, but Visual Assist I think is still faster. And finally, the last feature I wanna show you is something that is super useful when you're writing a new class. Over here, I've got a player.h and player.cpp file, which is a pretty typical setup. I'm gonna create a new class called player and I'll fill it in with some basic functions. And as you can see, I would now have the fairly tedious job of having to implement all of these here. Now you can use some of Visual Studio's features. You can also just kind of copy and paste this and implement everything. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but with Visual Assist, there's an even easier way, which I personally use all the time, which is just right clicking on the actual class name here, quick actions and refactorings, and then create method implementations. This offers to create all of the method implementations for you just at once. And if I hit okay, you can see very quickly, it's filled in all of those methods. They're ready to go here and I can just get to writing the rest of the code for this class, which is amazing. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little overview of some of the things that Visual Assist offers. Keep in mind that this is by no means some kind of like list of all of the features. Visual Assist can do a lot more for you. And in fact, some of the stuff that I haven't mentioned, you might absolutely love. And in fact, if there is a specific Visual Assist feature that I didn't mention that you use, that you love using, please leave a comment below. I'll take a look at it because there's, I mean, there's so much in Visual Assist that I'm not even aware about. If you've never used Visual Assist before, I highly recommend that you give it a try. I'll have a link in the description below to a 30 day free trial. Check it out, try it out for yourselves. It's absolutely amazing. For me, Visual Assist and Visual Studio really go together. When someone asks me what my favorite IDE is, I say Visual Studio, but really I mean both of them together. I think a big part of why Visual Studio is my favorite development environment is because of Visual Assist. I'm trying to help you guys out. Give it a try, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. I wanna wait for you to try Visual Assist. Go on. I'm waiting.